Hi guys, my name is Byfair from RFN, doing the briefest eight minutes of commentary on Walking Through Forge Episode 6. And yes, uh, this map is called Bailey V2, and unfortunately this is another map I had to pull from Forge Hub. I'm still trying to get to grips with submissions, but we have got three submissions in the pipe, so those will be episodes 7, 8, and 9. And uh, so yeah, the map is made by Hutler37, and this map is very interesting in its asymmetric... A blah, blah, blah. I'm derping already, wonderful, in its asymmetric design. Well, it's another one of those lovely uh, Forge Hub 1v1 maps, and it's... Actually, this is amazing. <laughs> I mean, some of its designs are very interesting, as I say again, the asymmetric theme in this... Asy I'm doing it again. I, I just can't speak today. The asymmetric theme in this is very prominent. Um, and I'm just going to go through the map. Now, as you can see, the design of this map is very... Uh, interesting to say the least it's kind of a bit of an s shape unfortunately i did not have the um i did not have the time to go through gameplay on this uh on the weekend i was recording so unfortunately no gameplay but it, you know really i should look more at this map in general now one thing i will point out is the texture work on this is beautiful again now uh, these full chub guys really know their stuff particularly with the 1v1 showdown i'm actually going to show you this because this is a very clever use of pyramids and he has freehanded these in. I do actually have to go outside just to show you the entire texture. Again, it's it's uh, just another lovely example of using small, small kind of uh, areas of uh, one single piece. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit of basic forge there, but it's it makes a really nice wall texture. Keep in mind, these things are expensive, but if you use them really effectively, it ties the map together kind of nicely, and it means, oh, that's a nice texture. Nobody's seen that before. And, you know, it makes your map stand out and everything, so, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's a pyramid piece. Now, one thing that I will say about the weapons is that they are very, very strange, you know? It's, um, you've actually got two grenade launchers, uh, one on the lower end, one on the upper end, as well as a couple of DMRs in here, a sniper and a custom power-up. Now, what's intriguing is that the sniper rifle and the custom power-up, uh, I'm actually just going to... I'm pulling out forge pieces right now just to show you some of the designs that he's using for these, but... Um, I'm going to talk about weapons. The custom power-up uh, is actually a very interesting choice, and I see his reasoning for doing it. Now, this is the thing. The sniper and the grenade launcher are on top. Now, the grenade launcher up top has no spare ammo, which makes a lot of sense, I'll be totally honest, because up top, you have a humongous advantage using the grenade launcher, because it's much easier to hit someone when you're um, higher than them with a grenade than uh, if you're lower. So it only has one shot. A uh, bit... I don't know, the weapon balance in that maybe is a bit uh, strange due to the fact that it does, well, I guess it doesn't affect it as much unless the person drops down and grabs the other grenade launcher. The other grenade launcher, I believe, has an extra grenade, which is an interesting choice. I mean, I guess that gives them equality of opportunity, not to mention it actually takes the person up top longer to reach their grenade launcher than to reach the other one. So, yeah, that's a good thing. They're actually both on very quick respawn, about 45 seconds each, although they are different. So again, that's another thing of map balance. And uh, actually over here in what I believe is red spawn, uh, it's very interesting because over in blues, you have a custom, uh, sorry, what am I saying? You've got a sniper rifle. Over here, you've got a custom power up. Now, custom power ups as default will increase player speed by 50%. And this actually makes a hell of a lot of sense for the player who starts out on bottom. And the reason that it makes a lot of sense is the fact that it's much harder to hit someone with both grenades and a sniper rifle, even if you have an elevation bonus, uh, when they're, you know, when they're faster. So, I mean, it's actually a very logical choice. And then the other person can pick up a grenade launcher with extra ammo, which compensates. Not to mention, both sides start off pretty close to DMRs, and it's got some very interesting map design in terms of just elevation changes. And the wonderful thing is that you can't go to the grenade launcher and then directly go to the sniper. He nicely ends the route, and that means that the sniper has to then move about, and it means the other person has an advantage in terms of just their movement. They can get about without being so restricted. They can get to their grenade launcher, and as you saw, there are those teleporters down there, which are, uh, you know, designated by the shield doors. And, you know, it's just a nice way to get around the map. Now, there is actually a spiker here. And the Spiker, again, I say, is an it's an intriguing choice, and uh, many people don't understand it. The Spiker is an odd beast, and the reason that it's odd is because it, it, you know, it's not honestly a weapon people use a lot. Now, the real perks of it, well, I guess I'll explain the disadvantages first. Spikers will reduce shields uh, and health and in terms of just a one single kill. They'll kill really slowly, because their damage to health is ridiculously low. However, take the other hand, that they fire really quickly 
the amount of shots it takes to break shields is very low. So using a spiker on this, and then a DMR or a needle rifle, is an incredibly effective combo, especially in close range. In fact, you can just run up with a spiker to some dude at close range and just melee him. It's a very logical choice to put one of these in here, and especially with zero spare clips. This thing in 1v1 is essentially another power weapon, and it doesn't look like it, but it is. As I say, it's a very odd beast. So yeah, you know, he's got these lovely pieces of texture work again. He uses, um, he uses uh, ramp incline bridge pieces here which is a very interesting choice. You have to put them at a very odd angle to do this, and you do actually have to do it without coordinate edits and angle uh, edits as well, which is an interesting one, but, you know, I see no reason why not. As well as that, you've got the lovely health pack back there, and uh, each side does have its teleporters. Now, one thing I love, I absolutely freaking love about this map, is the use of textures, because, for example, you look at all of these, and all the textures on the side, you'd expect them to be, you know, just the plain old stuff that you see normally. However, what he's done is he's just covered over the textures. So if you look at some of the things such as, I don't know, uh, back there in the very central room, in fact, what we're standing on now, uh, you know, if you see over there, you've got the 2x4s, and uh, he's basic. Normally the sides of that would be nasty and glass, and it doesn't really fit with the metallic theme of the map. So what he does is he just covers it up. I mean, look at the 2x2 two two corner there. He just covers it over with 1x2s. And it's just really clever because it makes, you know, it makes the map tie together much better. And that's one thing that often sometimes will kill a map in terms of its theme uh, is just the non-covering stuff. Another little thing is that he actually implies that the map is larger than it it originally seems because he's got doorways where it's rock has caved in and that's an ingenious design technique because it gives you the impression that these led somewhere you know there was another part of this facility so yeah that is Bailey v2 by uh, Hutler 37 I say again we've got submissions sorry that there's no gameplay on this one it is actually a very good map I would recommend that you download this this is on Forge Hub just search for uh, Bailey under B in the competitive map section and I mean you know it's uh, it's just, it's a, it's a very nice little map, you know? Um, anyway, I say again, keep submitting uh, maps for us. I'm still looking for maps in Walking Through Forge. I've got episodes 7, 8, and 9 planned out now because of those maps. And yeah, other than that, we uh, just need more submissions from you guys. We just need more community participation. So yeah, send me your maps. I want your maps. Abraham Lincoln. No, that's not Abraham Lincoln. Never mind. I'm going to stick myself because of that mistake. Anyway, see you guys later. My name is Bife, signing out here.